All right, this is a quick overview of annuities. Um, so, so real simple, basically, let's, let's jump into the definition. All right, and an annuity is a, is a set of regular equal payments over a set, set period of time. All right, so now last, the last lesson we covered a compound interest, right? Where you're making, you're making money on, on one single deposit over, over time. Okay, whereas with a with an annuity, you're you're making multiple deposits. Okay, with, with with a savings annuity, let me say it the right way. So now, when you, when when you analyze it, right? So when you read these these problem statements, you need to you need to always always ask yourself, is this compound interest, um, which is just a single deposit? Okay. Is it is it a savings annuity? Meaning I'm going I'm I'm putting money aside for the future. All right, so multiple deposits, but remember they have to be regular and they have to be equal, okay? Or, or is this a payout annuity, which means am I receiving payments or, or am I making withdrawals, all right? And again, they need to be regular, they need to be equal, and they need to be over a set period of time, okay? So that's basically what, it, what an annuity is, all right? And then, you know, this table is just to kind of give you a graphic overview of, of, of where to where to 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 think in terms of which one of these uh, problem types am, am, am I using at this current moment all right so so let me let me just go over this savings annuity annuities formula all right or they'll call it a, an ordinary annuity all right so you make deposits all right remember the regular equal over time and you're going to use this money in the future. So let's break down some of these variables. Okay, you got what's FV. That's the future value. And, and you'll see why, why, why I use that, that, that type of variable or, or, or use that variable when, when we get to the problems. Okay, so your, your future, future value, you've got payment. All right, that's the amount you're putting in. All right, and then R is your interest rate. Now, you can either use a decimal or a percent, depending on the type of calculator. All right, so we've covered that. All right, K. So we did K is the compounding periods in a particular year. In most cases, now read the problem statement. If they don't tell you how many, how many payments you're getting in a year, then it'll be typically, we're going to say in most cases, if they don't tell you, you're going to assume it's 12, okay, because you're making monthly payments. Uh, but if they say you, you're paying annually or quarterly or whatever the case may be, then you, you adjust, okay? And then N is the number of years, and that's kind of self-explanatory. So, all right, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you a quick example. All right, a traditional, you know, IRA or individual retirement account, all right? Is 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 an account where where you invest money and depending on type there's some tax advantages, uh, and so this is just say this is a tr traditional one. It's not a Roth one. So you only pay taxes. Uh, so you can put money in pre-taxed, okay? And then when you draw the money out, you're gonna pay taxes. And there's some advantages and disadvantages to a traditional versus a Roth, but that's that's a financial uh, type class question. So let's 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 break this down. We're going to deposit two hundred dollars each month. The interest rate is nine percent. Now notice they didn't tell us how we were going to get how we were going to get our interest. Okay, so so we're going to assume that that we get that interest on a, on a, on a monthly basis, and then we're at twenty five years. Okay, so now notice if you go back to that diagram, we had compound interest. Or that table, we had compound interest, right? We had a savings annuity where we were putting money in for the future. And then we had a uh, payout annuity, right, where we were taking withdrawals. Okay, so now you've got a couple options. they telling me well, I deposit every month, all right? So it's not, it's not compound interest question, so it's not like the last section, all right? I'm putting money in, and I want to have money in this account in the future, so... Is not a payout, so this is a savings annuity. All right, so now the formula, okay? You can look at the formula. We know this is a, we're trying to find a future value, 
Okay, so that's what we're looking for. The payment amount is $200. The interest rate is 9%. Or if you want to go ahead, convert that guy to that decimal, 0 0.09. They didn't tell me, you know, the compounding periods were something other than monthly. So we're going to assume that that is 12. And the number of years is 25. Now, I can show you that formula, right? I'm going to show you how to set it up. So your setup should look like this. You're going to have fraction bar. All right, you're going to take your $200. Going to multiply it by 1 plus 0 0.09 over 12. All right? You're going to raise it to the end was 25 times 12. All right? And we're going to subtract 1. All right? And then we're going to divide by the interest rate by the number of compound periods. So now, that's how you set it up. So you would take your calculator and you would type all of that in using your calculator. But I'm going to show you a smoother way. All right. So now, I'm going to use this app. Okay. It's a free app. Um, now, if, you, if you've got a, an Android phone or an Android device, you can uh, you can download. I think I think you can download. Um, just you're trying to get to. I think it's called. Let me look. It's called. Let me right over here. It's called. So Android. It's got an Android device. Download. It's called. Rabbit to Timu, okay? And that'll give you the same type graphing calculator. If you've got an Apple device, I'm using something called, I think it's called Graphing 83. I think that's the name of this app. Let's see. I think, that, I think that's the name of the app, okay? All right, so... But basically what we're going to do, we're not going, we're not going to sit there and, and go through uh, doing, doing all these problems out here. We have apps to do this stuff. Use, use your technology. And even if there's something, you can just you can actually go search for something called financial calculator to do it. But with this, this app, I'm going to hit app. I want finance. You, or you can just Google or look in the Play Store, look in the, uh, the Apple Store, not the Apple Store. The app store and get a time value of money calculator. All right, so now what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this app. All right, so now the only thing you need to do, you got everything you need right here. That's why I kind of set up the problem the way I did in terms of specifying what we need. All right, let's let's leave it here. All right, so in. All right, now what you're gonna do, you're gonna take it 25 years. On a time value of money type calculator, you've got to go ahead and multiply that out by the number of uh, compounding periods of payment. So that's going to be 12. Go ahead and hit enter. Okay. So that's 300. All right. The interest rate on this particular problem. Now don't, don't do, don't do a decimal on, on this calculator. Just, just go ahead and put the whole thing. That's 9%. All right. The present value, which is how much money is in the account today. We're going to assume nothing's in that account. So hit enter. All right. Our payment now. The payment is how much money you're putting in. So in terms of financial calculators, if you're making, you're making a payment, that's money leaving your hand, you make that number negative, all right? And it's not going, it's not going to change your answer. Just make it negative, okay? All right? So our future value, we don't know what that is. Our, our payments per year, that's what that P slash Y is. It's 12. Our compounding periods per year is 12. Typically, those numbers will match. All right, so we want to know how much money will be in this account in 12 years. So all you have to do, if you look um, right here, there's a button that says solve. So make sure you're on future value. So don't make sure you're not on payment. Future value. And that cursor's blinking, just hit that solve button. Simple. Smooth. You don't have to do any work. So our account balance now notice how much will be how much will you have in the account after 25 years okay so that's 224,000 
$224, and we'll round it to the nearest cent, so two decimal places, and 39 cents. That's the account balance. Okay, and I'll clean that up. Let's clean that up. Okay, so now that's the account balance. Now they may ask you, okay, well, how much of the money in your account is interest? Okay, no problem. So we're going to go ahead and box this. And then let's zoom in. Let's close that down a little bit. All right, so I want to know how much, how much of that money in my account is just straight interest that, that's been earned. Okay, so all you do is you just, and again, you may not be asked this question. You, they may just want a straight account balance, but you always want to know uh, how much money did I make for free? You know, my money was working for me. All right, so I know for a fact that I put up $200 for 25 years for 12 months, okay? I know that. So all I'm going to do is just take my $224,224.39 and I'm going to subtract out what I put in. Okay, so I'm going to grab... A calculator. Let me quit here. I'm going to take 224, 224 by 39, and I'm going to subtract out 25 years at 12 payments times 200, right? So that means I made $164,224.39, and this is just interest, right? So look at that, you know, so that's the beauty of, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to do amazing things, right? Always, you just got to be consistent for a long period of time. So that's 164000 there about of just interest earned, okay? So, so that, that may be another question. So we've got the account balance, which is all the money in the account, and then they may parse it out and say, okay, how much interest did you earn? And then they may say, okay, how much money did you put in? All right. And so if you say, well, how much money did I put in? Let's say they, they, they parse it out like that. It's 25 years times 12 payments times $200. Okay. So you put in $60,000 of your own money, but you made $164,000 in interest. So, so just from this one problem, okay, uh, you see that. Is, is, is better to start early, a small amount, and just be consistent over time, all right? All right, so now let's, let's flip on and let's go to this, this next problem. All right, so our next problem says, and we're going to still use this financial calculator, all right? So now notice the question. We, we, you want to have $200,000 in your account when you retire in 30 years. Your retirement account earns 8% interest. How much do you need to deposit each month to meet your retirement goal? All right. And we want to round the answer to the nearest dollar or nearest, nearest cent, I'm sorry. All right. So they told us in this case, we know our future value, right? We know our future value is actually $200,000. All right. And this is the value of, of, of using the, the financial calculator. Our payment, we don't know. We're trying to figure that out. We do know. That there's 8% interest involved. All right, they didn't tell us how many compounding periods per year, so we're going to assume that's 12. Okay, and then the number of years, that's 30 years. All right, and we're trying to figure out how much we have to deposit each month. All right, so remember, we still got, got the annuity. All right, so on this calculator, again, get your apps. You're going to go finance, go to time value of money. Now, I, I want to clear all this out but it's not going to let me. So I'm going to have to go to the very top. Oops. Start again. I'm going to go to the very top. All right. I know I've got 30 years. Go ahead and say 30 times 12. Okay. My interest rate is 8%. And again, don't, don't, don't go 0.08. It's, it's going to convert that, that, that whole number of decimal to a percent for you. Uh, our present value. We don't, we don't know, right? We don't have any money in this account. We don't know our payment. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put a zero right there. Our future value, we know we wanna have $200,000 in that account, all right? So payments per year, 12, or monthly payments, compounding periods per year, 12. So go up to payment, make sure that your cursor is blinking for payments, hit solve, boom. All right, smooth. So, and again, don't worry about the negative sign. Okay, the negative sign indicates the flow of the money. Okay, and so what this is telling me is our monthly payment needs to be $134.20. Okay, we're going to say per month because remember, we gotta, we, we're trying to stick with the goal of annuities. So if you put up that much per month, um, in 30 years, you'll have $200,000 saved in the bank. All right, and so now, I think we're gonna move towards what they call payout annuities, okay? Now, remember, savings annuity, you're, 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 think, think of yourself as, as putting money away for a rainy day, right? You're putting money into an account. All right, so then with a the payout annuity, you already have money in the account, and then you're pulling the money out or withdrawing the money. And remember, these are going to be set equal. So remember, these are annuities, equal payments over time. All right, notice the, the, the only thing that's different, uh, we don't have a future value, right? We've got a present value. Uh, we've got payment. All, all of this is the same. Payment's the same. You know, the initial amount in the annuity is the present value. Uh, interest rate, you've got compound periods, which is K, number of years. All right, same, same type stuff. All right, so here we go. A donor makes a $100,000 gift to a university and specifies that it must be used to give, now here's the, here's the key, annual scholarships for the next 20 years. If the university can earn 4% interest, how much can they give in scholarships, now notice each year, okay, each year. So that tells me that K is going to be 1, all right? And then the interest rate is 4%. All right, the payments we don't know, but we know they gave us $100,000. Oops, back up. All right, so the donor gave us $100,000. All right, and then we're going to pay out these scholarships on an annual basis. All right, so again, I, I go to my time value of money calculator. I know this is 20 years. All right, so you could say annual. Now, no, annual, annual means, you know, that your payments or P payments per year. Was one and I hope I hope the calculator does it for me, but we'll see. So twenty times one. All right, our interest rate is four percent. Uh, our present value. Okay, we're gonna give out a hundred thousand dollars. Now what we're trying to do is see how long until this money runs out. We don't know that payment, so we're gonna go ahead and put a zero there. All right, so we're gonna use this hundred thousand dollars until it runs out. So future value will be zero because we're getting money out now. This payments per year, go ahead and hit one and it should change. Nope. Typically, these numbers should match payments per year, compounding periods per year. These should be the same. Okay. All right. So now we're going to go up and we're going to say, okay, how, how much can we gain in scholarships or pay on the scholarships per year? All right. Make sure, again, your cursor's on, on payments. Now, if you're using a calculator, uh, you will hit alpha. And then you would just hit your enter key, and, and it, will, it will give you the solution. But for, for an app, you just go ahead and hit solve. All right, so now this tells me that we can pay out 7000 7, $7,358.18 per year. So from per year in scholarship. Okay, and remember, the, the negative sign just indicates that that money is being spent or it's going out. All right, so that's how you do it. 
All right, and then let's do this, this last example. All right, so after retiring, you want to be able to take $3,000 every month for a total of 30 years uh, from your retirement account. The account earns 8% interest. How much will you need in your account when you retire? All right, so what we're trying to do is let's take what they gave us. All right, so we know we're going to use 3000 a month. Interest rate is 8%. All right. Now, we want to know how much needs to be in that account, okay? And then, so we need to know the present value. Uh, each month, so we're going to assume K is 12 and N is 30. All right, so let's go up. We're going to do 30 times 12 as N. Interest rate is 8%. Okay. Um, go ahead and put zero. Okay. So present value, and we'll come back to that. Our payments, we want, we want to withdraw $3,000. That's too much. $3,000 every year. Future value is, again, we're going to draw down that account over time, so the future value will be zero. All right, and we're making, we're trying to get monthly payments. So make sure payments per year and your compounding periods per year are the same. And, it, and sometimes that'll be different, but for right now, we're going to say they're going to match. All right, so now we want to see how much do we need to put, put in the account today uh, so that we can, we, can, we can have it in the future or make these withdrawals over time. So again, if you're using a, a physical uh, Texas instrument, Graphing calculator, you would hit second. I'm sorry, you would hit alpha and then enter. But with an app, you just hit solve. And this tells me that we need to deposit $408,850.48 into that account. Okay, so that you can draw down $3,000 per month over time. All right, so that's how you how you use annuities. And then just to recap, compound interest, you get interest off of one deposit, okay? Annuities, you, 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 a savings annuity, you get interest over multiple deposits or on multiple, time, multiple deposits over time. A payout annuity, you're making multiple equal withdrawals over time. And, and typically you want that account to go down to and it doesn't have to go necessarily go down to zero, but for our purposes in, in introducing this, this topic, that's what we did. All right, that's it. Any questions, just reach out to me, and I'll be glad to answer them.